Hello, beautiful souls. And so, they began watching you, almost studying you and trying to figure out who you really are behind your appearance. Okay. They wanted to know the real you, the you that nobody else gets to see. Then because they felt exposed in this way, after this happened, or that you all of a sudden had this new level of access to them, this pulled on them emotionally. This maybe even made them react in an adverse way initially. Okay, this is a masculine that seeks something deeper, something that they can feel. But you feel like things have changed, and you're absolutely right. But beginning to step into this year, we are literally under a powerful shift where you will be able to physically see with your two eyes what people are thinking. That we're stepping into a year of mental expansion. We're stepping into a year where people are going to begin to display what it is that they really, really feel deep within their heart space. And what's interesting about this is that this is kind of a forceful type of energy. No one is exempt from feeling the effects of what the universe is doing at this time. And so that's why you may feel a little anxious. That's why you may feel as if something is unfolding in your life and you can't really understand what or why. You're being prepared to really put every single thing that you have learned on your journey into practice now. That's time for the beautiful souls on this planet who have kind of been under this spiritual awareness and this higher level of consciousness to really put forth all of these things that you have been learning. It's kind of like you've been in school and now you're going to be able to go out and to actually practice what it is that you have been given, these spiritual gifts that have been cultivated and sharpened. That you're getting into this place where you're going to align with people who actually match your value system. But you will also come in contact with people on your journey who are beginning to awaken to their own power, who are beginning to see the world through a new lens, who are beginning to believe in love again, who are aligning their energy centers and aligning their chakras. This is a beautiful, beautiful time, and there's a divine feminine that I'm tapping into at this time right now, whose magnetism has risen to such a level that you will be attracting a lot of beautiful souls towards you. You may notice when you go out into the world, people are staring at you. People are naturally drawn to your energy. This year, people will be forced to see the truth. For a lot of you divine feminines, your true identity is finally being revealed. Theft from Divine Muscular. Type yes if you believe, my beloved love. Some of you are going to look yourself in the mirror. Six months to a year from now, you'll be a totally different person based upon this energy, this vibration that you are standing in at this time of your life right now. Okay, this is a feminine energy who is very, very sacred and who is here to live such a powerful, aligned life. Okay, and your guides want you to know that they will not stop sending you signs. They will not stop nudging you. They will not stop bringing up these feelings. They will not stop bringing things into your awareness for you to heal and for you to cleanse because you have an assignment. Beth, you absolutely are here to do something powerful and your spiritual team has been calling you and pushing you and sending you all of these messages from the universe that you see on a daily basis to help you remember exactly who you are. Okay, and so at this time, the question really becomes, who do you want to be, divine feminine, and how do you embody this energy? What does this person do on a daily basis? Who are your friends? Who's your lover? What does your home look like? What type of car do you drive? This new morning Capricorn energy is also centered heavily around abundance, and abundance can take on many different forms and have many different meanings depending on where you are. But you're shifting. You're literally quantum leaping to another timeline. So it's almost as if you're redefining every single area of your life. There's also this energy here of you taking inventory. You're getting absolutely clear and fine-tuning every single area of your life so that you are in alignment with success. You have the happiness that you deserve. You have the love that you deserve. The friendships, okay, the community, whatever it is that's inside of your heart. Divine Feminine. It's almost as if it's being magnified because you're at this place where you're no longer comfortable vibrating on a certain level. Okay. You're understanding that there are levels to life, that there are levels to abundance, that there are levels to consciousness and awareness. 
Fangi put an intention out there for you to have, and you to be your highest and your best, and that's the energy that's coming into your world. Okay, you're literally quantum leaping into a field of absolute abundance. Okay, and this abundance is about to touch every single sector of your life. So this is a very, very pivotal time for you, Divine Feminine. A lot of you feel a lot of heavy emotion. A lot of you can feel something boiling on the inside of you. You can feel something on the horizon. But okay, so even if you're not seeing the signs and synchronicities, you're so intuitive. You're so empathic that your body will tell you something is happening. Okay, you absolutely have shifted. You've learned some very, very powerful lessons in your life. Life has really taken you and shaped you and molded you, and your heart is still intact. Your mind is still intact. Fifth, um, divine muscular. Type yes if you believe.